This is day six of Grandma reading you guys poems. I'm going to read you four poems today. And these are all poems that were published in books, but written by members of our family. This first one is the anthology of young, poetry by young Americans, the 1993 edition. And there is a haiku, which is Japanese form of poetry, written by Heidi Griman, age seven. I like days when the sky is blue and the grass is green. When flowers are booming, I like days like that. That's kind of a hard, uh, called a haiku. This is the Teacher's Selection Anthology of Poetry, the 2001 edition. And here is a poem by Lisa Griman, Grant Elementary School, Columbia, Missouri, nominated by fifth grade teacher Annie Bradley. I walked along a street of gold, my dog beside me, strong and bold. A tree branch brushes by my ear. I step in a puddle of water so clear. I look to the sky, watch a rainbow appear. I look back down and a lady draws near. A beauty she is dressed all in white. She steps so gently, so sure and light. She shows, shows no fear like she knows who I am. Out from behind her peeks a small lamb. I reach out to pet it, a soft, small baby. But then I draw back and I think, maybe, how did I get here? Am I dreaming? The lady looks at me, her eyes are gleaming. She smiles at me. I have a small hiccup. She touches my arm and then I wake up. It's Lisa Griman, fifth grade. Uh, Aunt Lisa has spent a lot of time encouraging her students to write poetry and nominating them for various awards. So it's kind of fun that that came from a circle. This is the International Who's Who of Poetry. And this is from 2004. And this is a poem by Grandpa Ken Griman. And Grandpa wrote this poem to dedicate to his friend Bev Bardoon, who was Heidi's second grade teacher. Walking the teacher walk to Beverly Bardoon. All humans leave footprints while walking life's way. These footsteps are telling, listen close, hear them say. At times be a follower, at times dare to stray. Know that tracks which you leave may change lives any day. Midst flurries of bustle in both students and peers, a slow steady walk has been practiced for years. Not chaos, not paperwork, deadlines nor fears has knocked her off step of the path that she steers. As a wise mother hen watching over her brood, she's guided and led, she's encouraged, pursued. In her eyes, all are precious as potential they're viewed, leading onward and upward lest young dreamers might get skewed. Her patience of virtue, her wisdom a light, to colleagues her walks brought reflection, insight. When paths have turned rocky, possibilities slight, her steps gently lead, led us in the direction that's right. Not a woman's large in stature, yet a giant among men. She leaves behind shoes hard to fill up again. In her quiet way of walking, it's obvious she's been a part of our family, a close personal friend. Though Grant School will miss her, we are confident she, through her walk, will be loved wherever she might be. May she continue to inspire, may others always see, to Bev Bardoon a specialness which has blessed you and me. And Grandma still gets to work with Bev Bardoon and... We make bags for children who have trouble reading when they're in kindergarten. And it's kind of a fun project. This book is called The Colors of Life, the International Library of Poetry. And this is from 2003. Oh, another poem by Grandpa. Ode to my teacher friend. In the land of school teachers, amongst the grade of the third, dwelt a teacher of prowess with legacy assured. Midst a world filled with chaos, with souls needing sight, 
Some found an oasis through a warm guiding light. With the charge of a teacher, she lived out her quest of sparking the interest of seeking the best. Through words and through actions, honed sharp in her stay, touched minds and shaped lives in her students each day. Her influence stretched beyond art-covered walls to brighten and lighten her peers down the halls. With focus and passion in her organized way, she coached and encouraged her peers not to sway. In the history of teachers, in the ones yet to be, there's a standard of excellence tall and strong as a tree. Few will wear the same the name prouder, few will ever transcend the impact of Beth Cooper, teacher, mom, and great friend. Mrs. Cooper was Uncle Peter and Aunt Holly's third grade teacher, and she taught with Daddy, oh, Grandpa, a long time. Grandpa wrote a poem for most of his teacher buddies when they retired. And then when Grandpa retired, Aunt Lisa wrote him a poem. I'll have to go see if I can find that one. Anyway, here are four poems that were published by members of our family. 